teach you just one more little fun model that you can build in Blender to export and use in your spline art animations and scenes. So uh, to get started, we're going to go to File, New, and just hit General. We're going to right click this square here and go to Delete. Hit Add up here. Go to Meta Ball and hit Ball. And to get started, we're going to scale this first ball up a little bit and then repeat that process again. Hit ball, it'll look like nothing happened, but there's another ball that will appear. And we're going to keep doing that and moving the balls around to different areas and scaling them to different sizes. You click this white circle instead of having to hold shift, and that'll scale the entire circle circle um, you know evenly so keep doing that um, and you can just you know mess around and have fun with it uh, move the balls around to all different places oh hit rotate by accident and make them all different dimensions and just have fun and, and make something kind of funky and then eventually you just repeat that process over and over again and then eventually it'll turn into something I'm gonna skip ahead here that'll look a little something like this eventually you'll have a crazy looking molecular type shape like this and if you want, you can click uh, up here in this little, uh, these little circles, and you can hide the accesses, the floor, the grid, um, that 3D cursor, and you can right-click your meta ball and convert it to mesh. Um, actually, but uh, before we do that, um, we're gonna want to do one thing which is um, once you hide all that stuff you can go over here to resolution and mess around with this resolution until you get something smooth looking that you like um, you can right click your little molecule and convert it to mesh and that'll hide those little circles that are going around and you can add a matte cap to see how it might look with your matte caps and spline. Um, so yeah, there you have it. You have a little fun little molecular type uh, type shape going on. You can add the subdivision modifier, which will smooth it out. And then you do the same thing that we did before. Um, again, you can you know mess around and add different cool modifiers to see how to look but when you you can go to export it just go to file export FBX save it to your desktop we'll call it molecule and hit export FBX twice and then if you rather you can do the OBJ instead molecule I'll call it whatever you want and export wavefront obj twice and there you have it now you can import this fun little shape into spline and change around the materials you know make it glass make it add images do whatever you like and um you know just have fun with it enjoy hope this helps take care guys talk to you soon see you at the next one